Hello, I'm Jamila Musaiba, an international social etiquette consultant and the author of two etiquette books, Etiquette, The Least You Need to Know and Afternoon to Etiquette. My books are only available in hard copy print in English language here in Azerbaijan, but if you would like to order a signed copy, please make sure to email me, I'll link it here as well down in the description box below. If you are a new viewer, welcome to my channel. Here I talk about etiquette, soft skills and self-development. If you are interested in that, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell button. If you are an old viewer, welcome back to my channel, I'm happy to see you here. In today's episode, by looking at what I'm wearing as well as what is in front of me, you probably have guessed that today's episode I'll talk about what is in my beach bag. So first things first, let's talk about what I'm wearing. I have a bathing suit underneath, which is why you see these black lines. And over the top, I have the summer dress or a kaftan or a tunic, if you would like, um, that I like to wear not just over the bathing suit, but sometimes just a dress on its own. I can cover it with a belt uh, or I can dress it up with shoes or sandals. This is something I like to wear over the summer because it's so bright and so colorful. Um, and I think it um, suits just perfectly fine for a daytime walk but as well uh, to wear it on the beach. So having said that, let's look at what is inside of this big, very voluminous, uh, very spacious bag. Um, I really like this bag again because it's so colorful, so perfect for the summer but also because it's very durable, it has very strong handles and I can just fill it up with so many things and just carry it like that with me everywhere. I like to carry big bags to the beach because I like having everything in one bag. Uh, so let's get to see what's inside. First thing that's sticking out of this bag is my hat. Um, if you have been following me on my Instagram, you probably see a lot of the hats that I'm wearing. I love wearing hats. I've been loving it ever since I was a little kid. Um, I remember I used to wear hats to classes as well, but then I was asked not to wear them. Uh, I love hats because I think they're such a beautiful accessory on any woman. It makes you look so feminine, so elegant, and also because it protects you from the sun. Um, so this is oops, uh, my favorite hat. Um, I like it because it has such a large brim and it protects me so well from the sun. Uh, so even when I'm seated under the shade, I can still make sure that I have a double protection uh, because I really don't like getting tanned. I will leave this hat on for the duration of the video and let's get to see what else is in my bag. Uh, okay, so here I have this cover up. Um, I will not show it because I don't like to expose much of myself in front of the camera, but this is what it looks like. Um, it's different from this dress. Um, it's something that I take off when I come to the beach and then I would wear this on top of my bathing suit. Let's say I have to take a walk on the beach or go get an order of a cocktail or water or something else. I don't like walking in just a bathing suit. I always like to cover myself up with something and this is just perfect um, for a little bit of a cover up but then not too much like this dress. Next, what I have here is um, a hairbrush. It's a little small one um, and it's just good to have with you, especially when you want to put your hair up or maybe make a braid. And I always carry a hairband tied around the hairbrush like that. I used to place it on my hand and I do have this habit once in a while that it's very difficult to get um, it rid of and I'm sure a lot of you have that. And then you have these lines on your hands that don't look very elegant. So I've developed a new habit bit that I'm trying is putting this hair elastic band around the brush so I know I always have it with me because I always take my brush with me. So this is a new habit, try it out for yourself. So next, apart from this elastic uh, band, I also have this hair clip. I actually have two of them. Um, one for my daughter and one for myself. Um, it's great especially when it's a windy day and you're at the beach and your hair is all in your face, which happens a lot here in Baku because Baku is a windy city and even when it's hot it can be windy still. So I always have hair clips in order to put my hair back, all the way back. Um, and so this is also always with me. Uh, next thing up is my wallet. I showed this before in the previous video as well. Um, I like it because it's so small, it's so portable, so easy to put into any bag, into small one, large one, medium one. Um, so I have to carry my cards and cash with me uh, because if I want to eat something, order something, then I will definitely need money as well. So this is always also in the bag. 
Next, I have here wet wipes uh, because as a mom of two kids, but also as an adult, I need wet wipes in case, you know, if I get my hands in the sand and need to reapply um, the SPF cream or something else, then I always need to wipe my hands. I like the small ones. I usually purchase only the small ones because they can fit in any kind of bag. Um, and then what I like about them is that um, once you open, there's only 10 things inside. So even if they dry out, you're not wasting a lot of the uh, paper wipes which happens a lot when you get a big one and then you open it and then they get um, you know they dry up and then you can't use them so i like purchasing little ones and having them in every single bag of mine next thing you cannot go to the beach without a pair of sunglasses um, i love this pouch because it's uh, it protects the sunglasses but also i sometimes use uh, the pouch itself to actually wipe the sunglasses um, and it's just easy and convenient um, and it fits perfectly well into small bags as well uh, unlike the other box ones because they're quite large and chunky they usually don't fit into small bags but this ones are perfect for all size bags and this is uh, the sunglass that I showed in my video it's by Prada it's a classical cat eye and I think it just looks perfectly great and matches well the hat next thing I have in my beach bag and every bag that I carry with me is always a book um, especially when you go to the beach it's difficult to look at your phone because there's sun shining and you can't see the screen properly so the best way to to spend your time at the beach is to read uh, so this is the book I'm currently rereading I actually read it a while back maybe two three years ago it's called how Adam Smith can change your life um, it's very easy to read and it's just a fun but also quite educational uh, book to read I will do my review of this book uh, in one of the upcoming videos. So if you want to check it out, uh, make sure that you do before watching the video dedicated to this book. Next, here in my bag, I have my phone um, together with my earphones. Um, I like this color combination, navy and burgundy. I think it looks so pretty. Um, I usually just listen to music or a podcast or maybe a YouTube video. Um, so I rarely look at the screen because I think it's so difficult um, to watch something when you're at the beach. Uh, I don't properly see the screen. My eyes hurt afterwards. So I just close my eyes put my headphones on and I just listen to something. So this is also always with me. And finally, the most important and the most intriguing part is my, uh, I guess, beach bag or makeup bag or toiletry bag. So this is it. I'll show you what's inside. So the first thing that I have here is the Vichy Laboratories uh, Mineralizing Thermal Water. It's rich in 15 minerals and it makes the skin stronger um, and healthier. Um, it's just basically water with minerals that you apply all over your face, especially when it's hot outside. Um, it's a good way to hydrate your skin. I apply it not just on myself, but also my kids, and this is how I do it. <sighs> Next, I have here a Hawaiian Tropic Silk Hydration 50 SPF. Um, it's in a form of a spray. You see it's like that. What I like about it is that it really um, gets absorbed into your skin very, very quickly. It doesn't leave any greasy feelings on you or any, any heavy feelings. I generally don't like applying much of SPF cream on my body, uh, but when I have to do it, I'll do. I'll use this kind of a textured, um, a spray-like. Um, oh my God, it smells so good. I wish you guys could smell it. It smells like vanilla and tropical something amazing um, if you can get your hands on it try to get it it's really nice the texture is amazing it absorbs very quickly and doesn't stain your bathing suit or your dress or your kaftan or your tunica so it's perfect next thing that i have here in my bag is this amazing SPF 50 again cream by La Roche Posay. It has a little bit of a tint, um, so it has this um, sheer almost look to it and it's very ultra resistant and it looks very natural on your skin. Um, I'll just show a little bit. So you just apply just a little bit 
um, it looks like it's a beige, like pinkish color. And then when you apply it on your skin, it looks transparent and sheer. But when you apply it on your face, uh, it gives you that natural glow while still protecting your face. So by far, this is probably my most favorite SPF cream for the face. Uh, before I proceed to show this other SPF cream that I have for my face, I want to reiterate that I usually apply this when I'm at home before going to the beach. So I'll apply this at home, you know, put some lip gloss, um, brush my eyebrows, and then when I'm at the beach, I will reapply the SPF on my face because I tend to get freckles and I really don't like it. Um, so I'll just use the stick SPF cream that I'll just reapply like that on my face um, throughout the time that I am at the beach. Um, I've actually recently learned that when SPF 50 actually means that it protects you only for 50 minutes, which means in in the 50 minutes once it's off you have to reapply the cream so before going to the beach i'll do this and then when at the beach about an hour after i'll apply this one it's again with spf 50 as well next i have here the NYX, uh, this is an oil that is multifunctional. You can use it on your hair, on your body, um, on your face. It contains seven precious botanical oils. It smells amazing and also it's just so light and it gets absorbed to your skin very, very quickly. Um, I'll show you just a little bit on my hand. I'll just close it like that. And then when you apply it on your skin, it has a very light texture, uh, which is unusual for oils because they usually tend to be heavy and I feel like they make your pores closed and it's just so heavy to wear in the summer. But this is very lightweight, it smells amazing and gets absorbed very quickly to your skin. So once I'm at the beach, I feel like my skin is drying up, I'll apply some oil. Next, uh, I have this Alemis Fortitude. I remember I showed this in one of my Instagram videos or maybe one of the YouTube videos as well. Uh, this is a stick uh, with essential oils um, and I just applied a little bit on my wrists and a little bit under my nose. I, When I go to the beach, I try not to put any perfume on because when perfume gets uh, in contact with the sun, it can actually um, you know, damage your skin. Uh, so I prefer to just apply a little bit of essential oil underneath my nose maybe on my wrists uh, maybe at my pulse points and this is the one that I'm currently using next what I have here in my bag it's actually the only makeup makeup item that I have in this bag um, this is a lip gloss by La Mer it it comes in it's in a form of a gloss but it gives you a little bit of a pinkish color to the lips uh, it also moisturizes really well uh, I'll show you So it just adds up a little bit of a color on your face and it's great to keep your lips moisturized while in the sun. Final two items that I have here is um, a hand sanitizer. This is something I purchased recently. It's by Zelensky and Rosen. Um, it just smells amazing. It's, it's probably why I bought it. It has a very nice subtle smell and anyone has to have a hand sanitizer with them at all times. Uh, so this is the one I'm using currently. And the final item I have here is a plastic band. I always carry plastic bands with me just in case, you know, anything can happen and it's always good to be safe. Thank you so much for watching this video until the very end. I hope that you enjoyed this kind of a video. Please do let me know in the comment section down below if you enjoy this kind of a content. I'll, I'll make sure that I shoot more videos of the similar content for you. If you're still watching this video, I wanted to make an announcement that I've launched a Patreon page. Uh, I'll link it down below in the description box as well. You can access my Patreon page and you can become a patron of mine. Every month I'll be sharing a special exclusive video on etiquette lessons from different kind of movies. I already did a review on etiquette lessons in Grace of Monaco. The next movie will be Titanic. So if you would like to join our Patreon list, please make sure to join down in the link below. Thank you and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!